guys, I'm MLF reporter Allie Akers, and we are here at the Major Lake Fishing Challenge Select in Alpena, Michigan, and I have MLF Pro Jacob Wheeler with me. How's it going? What have you been up to? It's, it's really good. It's good to be back here in Michigan, really. You know, obviously, the weather's beautiful and the fishing's pretty good, too. It is. Okay, I have to ask, you're one of the youngest Major Lake Fishing pros. Mm -hmm. You're also one of the youngest fishing pros in general. But do you ever feel like you have a disadvantage being young, or do you think it makes you more competitive? Well, I mean, I think that, um, you know, I, I've looked at a lot of these guys like Van Dam and Edwin Evers, these guys have won consistently and, and are probably the top, you know, five anglers in the world. And, you know, those guys, their knowledge is unbelievable of the sport, knowing what to do when they see this, this go down or being on the water and they have so much time in the water, that's how you learn. So for me, normally in a, in a regular setup event where I go out and practice, you know, I can normally spend a little bit more time on the water and maybe outwork some of those guys, put more time in, uh, spend more time looking at the maps, put, you know, get on the water at daylight, get off the water at dark, you know, and, and put 110%. So that's how I feel like I try to offset that. But here, obviously, it's a little bit different because you, you know, we go out here, we don't know where we're going. We have no idea what's gonna go on. We might be fishing for large, it might be small mouth, you know, up here, up north in Michigan. And so you're just sort of like, you, you just go. And the only thing that I can do is I feel like I can maybe move faster, you know, move faster, cover more water. Van Dam is probably one of the best at that. But you know, some of the older guys um, in the selects, they're, you know, they might take a little bit more time. They might be slower and take their time, fish, you know, fish slower. And for me, if I can cover more water and get an idea, you know, this game is, is so, so, so much fun. But at the same point in time, you have to have, you, know, you see guys that run up in front and get up in front real early and that they get caught up with one thing. So having an open mind and having multiple different things to choose from in that first period sometimes helps me out. So that strategy also helps. When did you know you wanted to be a professional angler and when did you know that you could actually make a career out of this? Well, you know, it's sort of funny because back in the back when I was really little, that's all I've ever wanted to do. So, I mean, you know, growing up, dads, you know, obviously, oh, yeah, you're going to, yeah, professional fisherman. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But, you know, my dad got me started in this. So, mm -hmm. you know, from, from a little kid, and I'm talking like probably, I think dad told me, I told him I wanted to be a professional angler when I was four. So, like, I mean, I've never, ever deviated from that. I love fishing. I enjoy it. I enjoy it, you know, whether I'm competing or whether I'm just having fun. And so, you know, I, I, I pursued that quite quite a bit, you know, through through my, you know, teenage years. I really spent some time fishing, um, you know, high school fishing, stuff like that, um, and did fairly well. But, you know, that still was a, it was, it was just a dream, you know, hoping to fish professionally one day. When I was 19, I started fishing against other adults, um, you know, getting out of the high school stuff and going into something more and, and fishing in some, some higher competition. And I won my first major tournament. It was a regional tournament, um, and it was in Ohio. So I won like three or four thousand dollars. I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, okay, well maybe you know I can probably do this sort of kind of deal. But um, later on that year, I qualify for an amateur world championship, which pays a hundred thousand dollars. I end up going to that championship, and the next year I win that championship. I win hundred thousand dollars when I was 20 years old. So when at 20 years old, I win this. You know, I was the youngest ever to win this amateur champion all American. And, and at that point, that's, you know, obviously I knew that I, I made it. I had that opportunity. I had a little bit of money put back, um, but that also gave me the platform to where I could attract some sponsors that are like, hey, this kid could be something someday. And I will never forget this. It was one of my first events with Major League Fishing, and it was the Challenge Select in Youngstown, Ohio. Yeah. And I got to interview the Youngstown State Bass Fishing Team. And I asked them, who's your favorite MLF pro? And all of them said, Jacob Wheeler. <laughs> How do you try to interact with them and be a mentor and be a role model? Why is that so important? You know, I mean, for me, that's, that's I mean, just 10 years, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, for me, I was in their position. And so, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, a lot of kids have that opportunity where their dad might be able to afford a boat or afford a truck and buy them that stuff. But for me, that was not the case. You know, I had to work for everything that I had. You know, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my, in my mouth and it was something that I had to work really hard and, and, and try to get after. And I had a lot of people that, that helped me along the way to do that. But, you know, so I know where some of these kids are. I know, like, at the end of the day, like, what their dreams are. You know, no matter whether it's, whether it's they want to be a professional basketball player, or fisher, or whatever it might be, whatever, mm -hmm. if they want to be a doctor or whoever. But for me, it's like, you can do anything. You just, how much time are you willing to put in? And you do have to sometimes give up a lot mm -hmm. to Very be good. successful at something and have those memorable moments. But even though you give some things up, you have really rewarding 
uh, memories. Yeah, I mean, you so, know what's twirling. I exactly. Mean, you, so what's one of your most memorable moments? For me, it was winning the Forestwood Cup. I want to know what Jacob Wheeler does during the off season, but you cannot say hunting, because I already know that you're a really big hunter. So you have to think of something else that you do in the off season when hmm. you're not hunting. So obviously, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely a, a hunting and fishing is where it is, but for the most part, you know, I, I switch it up a little bit. You know, I like to travel a lot. I love to travel. I travel somewhere every year. So like last year, I went to, like last few years, I went to Barbados, went to Costa Rica. Um, last year, I just went to, um, to Mexico. And I, I'm trying to think where we ended up going. We just went to Cancun. Mm -hmm. I just went to Cancun for a little bit. It was a quick trip, five days or something. We had a great time. But it was ultimately just going somewhere new every year. Like, you know, the thing is, the world's so big. And so I have a very small amount of time to really travel. So, you know, you have a select few areas that you might want to, you obviously want to travel south most of the time in the winter time, you know, December. So, um, you know, every year I really enjoy to have that opportunity to go, you know, maybe two times a year, travel somewhere in the world and see something new. I mean, it's so big and having these opportunities, you know, in that time of year is the only time I really can. So um, I enjoy that quite a bit. And besides hunting during the off season, I think that is something great that you do. Mm -hmm. See the world and just have fun and relax a little bit and enjoy your time. So thank you so much for this interview, Jacob. You, and um, I will hopefully see you again soon and good luck the rest of this week. And for more information about Major Lake Fishing, go to majorlakefishing.com.